Hello there everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video features a Louis Vuitton double unboxing. So if you're curious as to what I purchased, keep on watching. As you saw in the intro, I have these two little Louis Vuitton boxes that I wanted to unbox and share with you guys in this video. So I will start with the smaller one and then we'll work our way up to this larger box. And full disclosure, I have seen these items. I'm not doing an authentic first time unboxing with you guys. I did have to see them and actually use them a little bit. Um, I was just way too excited. So this is a little bit of an after the fact type of an unboxing, but I still wanted to share it with you guys nonetheless. So we will start with this little one. Pull out the drawer. Any guesses on what this is? You can guess from this at least. You can guess this much that it is a flat card holder, but which one? If you know me, you probably will have an idea and once you see it, be like, well, of course you bought that one, but okay. It is the Louis Vuitton double card holder in the Monogram Eclipse. If you are familiar with Louis Vuitton, the Monogram Eclipse, the black color scheme that you see right here is from the men's collection. And I don't care. I love this particular colorway. Black. I love black. Some people lean more toward black. Some people lean more toward brown. I personally don't like brown on me. And if you've seen my channel and seen the videos I've posted in the past, I just don't really gravitate toward Louis Vuitton's monogram brown color scheme. I have literally two items in that particular colorway. It is my origami wallet and I have the mini pochette in the Damier Eben with the burgundy sequins. Um, from I think it was either 2013 or 2014 something around there but the point in mentioning that is I just don't particularly love brown very much so the men's collection in the black and gray color scheme totally screams my name I don't care if it's men's or not or if it's women's it doesn't matter to me in my opinion they're all unisex they're all very neutral and can be used by men and women alike I love this I've had my eye on it for probably about a year now, if not longer, and just never pulled the trigger thinking next month or later, or do I really need it? And I don't know what happened. I was just online one day. I always say blame it on COVID <laughs> because we're home so much now and just finding various ways to kill time. I happened to find myself on the Louis Vuitton website. I perused the site, landed on the page for this beautiful item and it was in stock and I just impulse bought it and it arrived and I absolutely love it. Just to give you a quick tour, it features two card slots right here in the front, two card slots in the back, which I actually really like compared to what there is available on the women's side. Offhand, I don't feel like any women's flat card holders have caught my eye that have four slip pockets on the outside. I think the most, I've seen maybe three, or maybe I'm mixing that up with Chanel's card holder. I don't know. I've definitely seen two. The wildly popular reverse monogram card holder for the women that is very difficult to get your hands on these days, I know has one on each side, but this one has two on each side. And I do love and appreciate the extra compartments for cards because to begin with, I'm not a big flat card holder person just because it's so little for me. So to have that extra space in real estate to put cards is definitely a win in my book and makes it more likely that I will use it. So love it. And as you can see, it features the beautiful Louis Vuitton monogram print right here in the front and in the back. It's like this. And then obviously I told you there are two compartments slip pockets on each side. And then of course in the top, it pops open right there. Let me pull out what's in here and then I'll show you those. It says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And the date code is way in there. I will probably waste the rest of the day on camera trying to show it to you if possible, but rest assured it is in there. It is in one of these little corners here. They hide them so well. And it is a very pliable, monogram canvas. I didn't know what to expect with the particular monogram canvas. Knowing how stiff it is in their other small leather goods, I thought it might be a little tough, but this one's very, very pliable and can hold 
a decent amount easily. You know, you don't feel like you're gonna feel like you're gonna be breaking it trying to put the card in a slot or anything. And I will show you. I will pack it up for you real quick. But before we get into that, let me show you in case you are interested in the little pieces of paper that I pulled out here from the center. You've got the little Louis Vuitton card here that says coated fabric and cowhide leather exterior. Right there. And if you want the product code, it is right here for your reference. And it is currently June 2020, and this beautiful little item currently retails for 325 US dollars. So, like I said, I have two slip compartments on either side. We've got the main open compartment on the top, and I grabbed one, two, three, four, five, six cards to pack it up and show you what it looks like packed up. So let me just do that really quick. I haven't had it very long, so I only used it once or twice, but I absolutely love it. It just feels so good in the hands and it's just a lovely, lovely card holder. So you see here, we've got two cards here, two cards back here. I didn't put anything in the top, uh, but I did grab a couple cards to kind of simulate cash because I don't have paper money at the moment not going out and doing much. I don't need actual paper money with me, so I don't have any to use, but we will pretend this is a wad of cash, some bills. And so it's two cards and they go in very easily. And if you wanted to use it exclusively as a card holder, as you can see, that is totally fine. I mean, you do see the stretch right here, but I think that is inevitable. It has nothing to do with the number of cards and actually let me pull out the two I just put in the middle to confirm that for you guys yeah see they're still there it's just kind of if you're gonna use it this is what's gonna happen and you got to be okay with it so that is how it looks put these back in to give it a good look kind of packed to the max as I like to say so here we go the front back top I'll show you the sides here. Beautiful, perfect glazing. It is one continuous piece of canvas for this top material. As you can see, the flower doesn't get cut off down here or anything like that. So it goes all the way around. And glazing on this side, also perfect and lovely. And I am just obsessed with this adorable little card holder. Moving on to box number two. I bought this to complement the card holder that I just showed you and it's also an item that I've had my eye on for some time, have tried to justify purchasing and finally convinced myself that I needed it. So without further ado, drawer, dust bag to reveal, any guesses, anyone, anyone? It's going to complement this one nicely, so naturally. It's going to be Damier Graphite, obviously. It is their four key holder in, like I said, the Damier Graphite. Now this item is actually discontinued by Louis Vuitton. It was discontinued back in 2017, but I found it on the resale market, brand new and under retail, which if I recall correctly, retail was either 220 or 225 US dollars. So I found it for under retail and I thought it would complement the Eclipse monogram card holder really nicely. And I don't have any kind of key holder for my keys and figured this would be a great addition to my collection. So as you can see, it features the lovely checkered print and right over here in the square is where it says Louis Vuitton Paris. On the back here, you don't have a square that says that, but you do have this little grommet that you can kind of make out has some letters on it, which are obviously Louis Vuitton. They spell out Louis Vuitton right there. It will not focus probably for me to, to show it to you clearly, unfortunately, and I apologize for that. You've got the zipper pull here that also says Louis Vuitton. Again, camera probs, it's not gonna probably focus, but trust me, it says Louis Vuitton. And then you open it. Oh, and actually before I open it, one of the things I wanna show you, as you can see here with the zipper, it goes the whole way across and then down. Actually, let me turn it to its front. So when you zip it, it's the whole way and then down that corner there. And this is one of the reasons I actually really like this 
more than their traditional clay that they offer in this print in the Damier Azur, Damier Ben, and the classic brown monogram because of this extra turn here in the zipper. The traditional clay only has a zip at the top, making it a bit of a tight fit. And it is doable, but it, it requires a little more finagling of your cards or whatever you wanna put in there. And the fact that this one has a zipper that goes straight across and down, as you will see right now, allows you to open it up tremendously compared to the clay. I mean, look at that. You could never do this with the clay. The clay would just stop, I would say, if we wanna kind of mimic it with this one, to about there. And then this is what you've got to work with. So this is leaps and bounds larger as far as the opening would be concerned. And as you can see, the interior here is just a gorgeous black canvas that says, is it canvas? I don't know, it, it feels like canvas. Uh, it says here, Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And as was the case with the card holder, the date code is all the way in the corner here on the other side. Maybe might be easier to make it out, yes, yeah, see, because I can open this more. You can make out that the date code lives right in that little corner over there. And we've got this great chain here. I mean, this chain is really gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous silver chain. Love it. It's like, I wish there was a necklace. There might be. I'm, I don't really peruse the jewelry section, but if there's a necklace or a bracelet in this particular chain, I would be very tempted. If you know if there is one that exists, let me show it to you up close again. <laughs> if something from Louis exists in this particular chain, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to put it on my radar and put it as a wish list item of mine. So we've got the chain going on here and the nice thing, should I decide to zip it up completely, the chain can stay out and it won't be you know, staying out because I didn't zip the zipper all the way. They've accounted for the fact that the chain can and will likely stay out for some people. So you've got this gorgeous chain and on one side here of the hook, it says Louis Vuitton. Let me make sure. Again, we, we've got, you know, I don't have like an autofocus that's super high tech. So I apologize that I can't show it to you better, but you can see that there's, you know, some divots and, and you know, all that stuff catching the light so there is some writing there and it spells out Louis Vuitton. And then to open this with the clay, it's a uh, pull up and out kind of mechanism. This one's just a screw. So you go like this and it pops right open. And I actually brought my keys to show you how I pack it. Now, before I get into it, I do love it because the feel of this, like just the size of it and the feel of it in the hand is really fantastic. It just, it just fits, you know, it feels good, but the size of it relative to the keys that I have makes it not a very um, effortless and uh, thought-free process when it comes to using the key clay and, and putting in the keys. I actually have to have a method to the madness to make it close properly without warping it. So for that reason, it's a got a bit of a negative or a con in my book. And that obviously has to do with just my keys and the fact that I have a massive key fob. So this takes up a lot of real estate in there. My other keys, this is it. It's all we've got going on here, but just these two little things to try and put in here does require a little bit of planning. So full disclosure, should you decide you want to look for this on the resale market, just be aware that it does not, it's not as simple as just putting them all on this hook, throwing it in there and zipping it up and calling it a day, it will warp. And I will show you what I mean by that in a second. So once I got it, I probably sat down with it for about a half hour trying to figure out what's the best way to essentially pack it and use it. So I took off all my keychains, like all my extra little fun keychains, cause there's, there's just not enough room. So if and when I'd use this one, this is the extent of any kind of decor or extra, you know, fun keychains. It is this. So what I have done is put all my keys on one of these little round key chain thingies and just plop it through here and then just close it like so. And you're probably wondering, well, why aren't you putting your key fob? Well, because I don't need to. My key or my car rather is a keyless entry. So as long as it's with me, the car is gonna open, it'll close and lock. I can, you know, turn it on. I don't need it to get in, in and out of the car every time. So I opted to just throw on a little, you know, ring like this on here and then just place it into this card 
or key holder rather. And the other reason for me leaving it kind of loose like this is because of um, potential valeting of the car in the future. I don't want to have to finagle with the hook and try to unhook it and take it out and you know just it wouldn't take long but I figured this is probably the best way to do it. Now granted I could change my mind put it on here and know that if there's a night I'm going to go out and I'm going to want to valet it take it off in advance but like I said because I don't really need it that often when it comes to getting in and out of my car I don't need it to dangle with all that weight with all my other keys that I need to use a little more frequently than I do this. So the method to the madness that I have come to accept and realize is best for me, given that we've got this big fob plus this round ring here, I put it into the key pouch with this going in, you know, the ring in here, so that it kind of loops around where the chain is attached to the key pouch and that way it's kind of away from all the other keys and i don't end up mistakenly grabbing this out along with my keys when i go in to get my house key or my other key that are attached on here so we've got the fob in here like so and i push it in all the way i've got this extra space here for the three keys that you see right here so typically what I've been doing is putting the fob in like that and then bringing these keys and kind of placing them just next to the fob like so, if you can see that. So put that. And now this is another thing that I've come to realize is a bit of a con with this key pouch. This hook, it is awfully big for this item. And especially when you are talking about having not just keys, but big bulky key fobs this ends up being a bit of a bulky and unnecessarily bulky hook I feel like they could have made it a little smaller and it would accommodate the same amount of keys just fine so not only do I have to finagle the keys in here into the side here like I just showed you let me do that and I'm doing it with my non-dominant hand I then also have to worry about getting this hook in there just right so that when I go to zip it it won't warp so I think I got it fingers crossed guys yeah so now it's zipped up as you can see it stays pretty nice and flat and more importantly the zipper is not warped I mean I guess if we want to be super picky it is just ever so slightly there but I can just kind of push it straight and it's fine and there you have it a beautiful key holder and it just see now that it's packed you can see what I'm talking about it fitting nicely in the hand it just it feels right you know like the width is just right I do wish it was a little bigger and I have been toying around with possibly getting the emprunt noir key pouch but that is significantly more expensive it is $475 and it is bigger so I don't know that it'll feel this good in the hand as much as this one does but this is still relatively new to my collection, so I obviously need to give it a fair shake before thinking about replacing it or getting rid of it. So I really love it at the end of the day now that I've figured out the best way to pack it given the keys I have. And hopefully, maybe, possibly, fingers crossed, with time it will become more of a thought-free process when it comes to putting my keys in here, using them, and then zipping it up and not having a warped zipper issue. But obviously time will tell and once we come to a conclusion in that regard, or I come to the conclusion in that regard, I will certainly circle back and let you guys know how I feel and like this particular key pouch. Nothing is ever gonna be perfect. There's always gonna be a wish or a hope that you had hoped an item had. Like I wish the key hook was a little smaller. You don't need this much. Or I wish this was ever so slightly a little taller. Who knows? But nothing's ever gonna be perfect. And knowing that the flaws, for lack of a better word, with this key pouch for me and my keys, I'm able to work around them. And hopefully, like I said, in time, they will kind of fade out and be non-issues and won't be a problem. And see, I just kind of closed it without really giving it much thought. and not too bad so so we might be onto something it might just it might just need a little time and uh repetitive action so we shall see 
But that is it. Those are my two little goodies that I have added to my little SLG collection. My very little, actually, Louis Vuitton collection. I think this is items three and four. My Louis collection is very small, but it's slowly growing one step at a time. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.